Hi everyone, my name is Ella Shiratsky, and today I'm going to talk to you about quality filtering your sequencing reads with a tool called Trimomatic. So when you get your sequencing reads from the sequencer, they will look something like this. So as the um, as you go towards the end of the read, the quality tends to drop. This is even more so in reverse reads compared to forward reads because um, the sequencer itself reads the forward reads first for however many cycles you set it to, 150, 200, 300, and then it starts reading the reverse reads. And at this point, the chemistry of the kit is just not as good as it was when um, you started. So um, you wanna probably trim the quality of the reads before you use them further down in your uh, downstream in your pipeline. How you wanna quality trim your reads really depends on what you wanna do with them next. So for example, some tools like Data2 require reads that are exactly the same length. So you probably wanna trim your reads by length. Whereas other tools, or if you just wanna merge your reads, then you probably want to just trim them by quality because you want to be very confident of the overlap region between the reads. So when we look at the Trimomatic website, so it's really nice and easy and you get uh, the download files and then the how to very early on. This is just how you would run Trimomatic in a terminal window. So when you get your sequences from the sequencer, for example, if I go into my data directory and hit LS, I have these two FASTQ, zip FASTQ files, um, just as they came from the sequencer. If we look at their quality, you can run FastQC really quickly. If you don't know how to run, run FastQC or, or how to read the output, I've added a link in the description of this video to a wonderful um, video by Alexis Marshall that explains it. So we can look at the quality results of the forward read, which in this case is R1, and then the reverse read, which is R2 here. These are just sequences, um, samples that I've sequenced in the past that are publicly available. Now, if I combine the results of the FastQC on both of these reads, you can run MultiQC. It's gonna take a while, so I already did that for you. So let's look at the report that MultiQC gives you. Um, so we've had two reads, read sequences here. And as you advance towards the end of the read, you see that the quality does taper off. Um, and it's a lot worse in the reverse read. So at this point, the, quali the mean quality at least is, is pretty bad. So, let's say that we want to run, uh, we want to trim for data too, so that would be trimming by uh, length. Um, Trimomatic offers you a lot of parameters for trimming your, um, your reads. To trim by length, you would use this one, crop. So crop cuts the read to a specified length by removing bases from the end. What that means is it doesn't matter how long the read is, if you tell it crop column 200, then your read will end up being 200 bases long, which is really all you care about. So let's do that. So we're gonna run Trimomatic. Now we're gonna tell it that we are in paired end mode. And the first, parameter that you give it is your forward read. Now, the next six arguments are gonna be positional arguments. That means they have to come in this order. Afterwards, you can give it all sorts of parameters 
um, like how to quality trim in whatever order you want. But these have to be in this specific order. So first we give it the forward read. Sorry. Then we give it the reverse read. And note that I'm using tab to complete file names, which just makes it easier. Now the next thing that we're gonna give it is four file names. And these are gonna be output file names. So Trimomata gives you four types of output. Let's look at this. So here is our input files, forward and reverse, and then we have four output files. So they are output forward paired, forward unpaired, reverse paired, and reverse unpaired. What does that mean? So when you quality trim your reads, sometimes the, re the the paired read of a specific read is going to be such bad quality that you're going to have to throw it out. And then you end up with only one read that's of decent quality. And it will be unpaired because you lost the pair due to bad quality. You're going to have more unpaired forward reads compared to reverse ones because the reverse is usually worse quality than the forward, which we discussed earlier. Um, this is not going to have a huge impact. So don't worry about only using your paired reads. But just to talk about why you would want to do that, when would you want to use only your paired reads? For example, if you want to merge your reads, then you have to have both of them because you can't merge a single read. Um, if you want to uh, assemble genomes out of your metagenomic sample, then you want to have paired reads because a lot of assemblers use that paired read information to build scaffolds out of contigs. So if one read is on one contig and the other read is on another contig, the assembler is gonna deduce that these contigs are close together on the genome and it's gonna put them on a scaffold. Um, so you probably wanna use paired reads for uh, metagenomic assembly. However, if you're only using the forward read for whatever reason, and that does happen, then you don't care if the reads are paired or not, and then you can use your unpaired reads as well. So we're gonna give it four file names, just file names, um, for the output reads. So let's call them crop, because that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna crop the reads as if I'm gonna send them into data too, so they all have to be the same length. So I'm gonna call them crop, and then add the sample name. So I can just copy paste. It's gonna paste to the end of the line. Um, and then fast, sorry, uh, paired, fast queue. So the first one is the um, forward paired. Then again, I'm gonna copy paste. The second file name will be forward unpaired. The third one, again, I'm copy pasting and just editing the file name. It's gonna be the reverse paired, and then the reverse unpaired. All right, so this is when you start adding parameters that determine how you're gonna quality trim your sequences. In this case, we wanna, if we look at our QC report, we see that this is where, this is more or less where the quality tends to uh, taper off. So let's, I'm just throwing a number there, but let's say we wanna trim all of our reads to be 275 base pairs long. So we're gonna write down crop in all caps and then 275. So the output of this is gonna be reads that are all 275 base pairs long. Um, sometimes there are reads that are shorter than average for whatever reason. Uh, it's always a good idea to determine or to um, tell the tell trimomatic to use a minimum length and throw out any reads that are shorter than that. Um, so let's say we don't wanna include any reads in the analysis that are shorter than 200 base pairs. Maybe it's because they're never gonna be able to be merged, they're not gonna be long enough, there won't be an overlap between the forward and the reverse, or maybe we just don't trust reads that are that short. All right, so 
let's see what happens when I run this. That's it. Dramatic is that fast. Um, so we have 100% of the reads where both reads survived, which means we didn't have any sequences shorter than 200 base pairs. And then what it tells us here is that we don't have any unpaired reads and that no reads were dropped due to um, whatever other parameters we set, which in this case is just minimum length. Um, now let's talk about, we're gonna look at the, actually let's just, let's just look at the quality now. So I'm just gonna look at the paired reads in this case. And I'm gonna run fastqc on the forward read. And I'm gonna use the up arrow to go back to the same command and then only change R1 to R2, which is the reverse read and run fastqc again. So in the meantime, Let's look at our forward read. All right, so crop. Here is our FASTQ um, report for the forward read. It's really great quality. And then the last position is 275. And then let's look at the reverse. Oh, that's not ready yet. Oh, there it is. And again, we see that the quality really drops towards the end. So maybe you would want to trim it a little further. Um, but again, we've trimmed it to 275 bases. Okay. What happens if you want to trim by quality? So in order for me not to have to type everything again, I'm just going to use the up arrow to go back to my Trimomatic command. And in this case, I'm not going to use crop. What I am going to use is um, parameters that have to do with the quality of the sequence. So one of the classic parameters is a sliding window. Sliding window means that you start going over the read from the beginning and you look at every four uh, consecutive nucleotides. So this is determined by this four right here. And then you average the quality of these nucleotides. If it's higher than 15, then you keep going. If it's lower, that's where you trim the reads. Um, I usually set this to be a little more stringent. So I'm looking at 15 letter words or 15 nucleotide sequences. Once the quality drops below 25 Fred score, that's where I'm gonna trim the read. Let's see what that does. Oh, sorry. I have to, um, I'm gonna change the file names. So we're not cropping here. We are trimming. Right, this is gonna take slightly longer because now Trimomatic has to look at the um, quality scores, but never mind, it's already done. So out of 115,000 sequences, more or less, we have um, over 113,000 where both reads survived this pretty stringent quality score um, filtering. That's over 98 and a half percent of them. About a percent and a half had only the forward reads surviving, so the reverse read was dropped due to low quality. And then very few reverse reads where um, the forward read was dropped due to low quality. 
and then a few were dropped due to um, minimum length that was under 200. So we can run, run FastQC to look at these. And I've already done that, so I'll spare you the effort. Let's see what happens when we look at everything that we've done so far. So what we have here, we have the original quality reports for the forward and reverse reads. We have the quality reports for the cropped reads. And then we have the quality report for the trimmed reads, which is the last thing that we did. Let's look at the sequence quality. So this is our orig original reverse. See how the quality drops towards the end. This is when we trimmed it by length. So we didn't actually change the quality. Um, we just changed the length of the read. And this is our reverse with quality um, trimming. So we've lost almost nothing in length and now the quality is really great. Then all three forward reads are up here. This would be the cropped, this is the trimmed, it's a little shorter, and this is the original. So um, hopefully that was helpful. And the last thing that I probably want to point out is that when you run Trimomatic, you can use zipped files. You don't have to unzip your read files, which is really great because it lets you um, save space on your computer. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful. And don't forget to check out Alexis Marshall's Fast QC and Multi QC tutorial if you don't know how to use these tools. Um, all right, see you in the next lesson. Bye.